Hello and welcome back to the Craft Box. My name is Brenton. Today we're on we're on episode three hundred and twenty four uh, in Heap here. A very cool place. Love to see it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, we're heading into the cell to <sighs> look at duty again. Why do we always get the boring jobs? I like the boring jobs. Gives me time to think. <laughs> yeah, about what? Well. Like, does existence carry intrinsic meaning? Or is life empty? Do we all just invent stories to keep us calm in the infinite night there? Say what now? Oh, hey, someone's here. I guess we'll pick this up later. I sincerely hope not. Um, so yeah, we are here, I believe, to break out Bumbles. But if you haven't seen the last episode, you should. It was the first episode of Heap, which is pretty cool. A very cool area. Would highly recommend watching it. Um, life 4,860 health, we do boost, we're just gonna use a regular, a regular death blade, not normally something that I do, usually like enchanting them, but we don't have an enchant, so that's fine. I don't know what that was, um, have absolutely no clue what that first guy used, I can't even think of what it would be, because he is life, it was a life spell, it can't be triage, because triage wasn't used on him, can't be used on me, um, confused, confusion. Hello, Confusion. Nice to see you. Uh, we Scarecrow here. We Scarecrow just easy get them out. This is a one that helps me, which is cool. And this is also a blade. Yeah, look at me go. I can predict the future. No, as soon as you, like, have played this game long enough, you kind of know what they're going to cast. Like, it's just, it's just an instinctive, like, thing that I have. I just kind of understand what they're going to cast in each round. You know, when they earthquake, I know they're going to earthquake, you know, it's just how it works. Um, it's not good, but it works. We didn't kill, we killed one of them actually. We've got 68 health. Yep, love to see it, love to see it. It's such a, wow, nice, nice, very cool. Life minnow, hello. Um, that's going to hurt a little bit, especially with a crit, yikes. This is going to do a decent amount of damage, I'd say. Maybe not, maybe, maybe I was hyping it up too much. Um, yeah, a little bit. A little bit worse than Minotaur. I thought Minotaur, it's gonna be big. Because usually Minotaur's with a crit is, like, insane. Absolutely insane for some reason. But no, it's not that good. It ain't that good. It's just a little bit bad. But that's fine. That is fine. Right, this will kill for sure. Kablamo. Kablam. Here we go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. 36 Health disgraceful absolutely disgraceful cheese it people they's on to us we we's on to you yep that's how it works right who do we have here that's right bumbles you are coming to our boss is going to want to talk to you about your boss <laughs> yeah yeah that's what you always say get going what about me you're gonna need my help to take out the golden lion that ain't what the boss said now move it, Bumbles. Looks like we gotta buy you some time. Um, yeah, so we're freeing Bumbles, but Bumbles is, um, in a little bit of a difficult situation here. Of course. Right, uh, Mukru again, and Mukru Enforcer, rank 19 Elite Ice, 6,140 health. Decent amount there. We got that good blade today. Nice, lovely. Love to see it. He's gonna stun me. He's gonna, um, do weird things to me. Minnow. Okay, right off the bat. Love to see it. Love to see it. Ice guy's gonna stun me. Just watch it happen. Watch it one. <laughs> Loser. Loser. Imagine doing one damage to me. Imagine. Um, stun. Told ya. It's a stun. With a different name. <clears throat> Love to see it. I, how did I know? Because I am just the best at knowing these things. It's just how it is. They have a stun, they will cast it. It's just how it works. You know, it's like fire. They have mantle, they will cast it. There's no question about it. Just to really annoy you. So, no blade for me this round. Unfortunate. <clears throat> Unfortunate. We try again, though. We try again. They can't do anything scary to me this time. They've got two perps, which is bad. Very bad. This is a... a the, the, the thingy. Adapt. Oh, okay. Not what I thought it would be. Thingy. I mean, like... What's the ice aura? I don't know what the ice aura is. I don't have an ice, so I can't know. I would never know. Ice? Disgusting disgusting who would use ice wizards not me um 
Yeah, but that not what I expected. Was expecting something a little bit different. Not adapt. That kind of threw me for a loop there. Want it? That's fine. That's fine. This is another want it. Nope, it's another stun. Oh, sorry. He had a stun in his deck. He has to do it. I forgot my... I forgot what I was saying before. He has stun. He uses stun. It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Simple equation. Um, This is a blade. Or a shield. Probably a blade. I don't think they shield much. They don't really shield much anymore. Which is good. Really good. Because shields are just pathetically annoying. They're not even like a good move. It's just annoying. Because like we just then have to waste another turn. Like it's not even a good move. Like, it is pathetic. I don't know if he died. He may not have died. Oh, he did. Nice. Lovely. You can always tell because of the death um, sound. Boss, hurry up! There's a wizard coming your way! Uh, we have full jewels. That's not great. Oh, we don't. That's fine. We nearly have full jewels. Ah, Tracy's a little sidekick. Thought you guys were so clever locking me up. Good thing Tracy's too busy to even notice us melted that wall, huh? You boys get Bumbles back to the base. Make him spill the lion's location. I've got some anger issues to work out. He talks really slowly, not gonna lie. Um, we're gonna put in a faint. We probably won't use it, but we're gonna put it in anyway. Um, rank 20 boss and a moo crew. This time fire, so mantles and stuns. Uh, 4,270 for the moo crew. And 13,975. A decent chunk. For the boss boy he is life so we boost on him which is great fantastic love to see it uh mantle a blade wow okay what the heck oh no not this again i am having flashbacks from last last time last episode i was gonna say last yesterday but that's not a thing that is not a thing. Last yesterday does not exist. Um, this is great. We love this. We love this. I don't even know if, um, like, casting an aura would counter that. But maybe I have to carry an aura just for fun. Oh, hello. Oh, it's, um, Sugar Rush or whatever it's called. That's cool. At least we're in the same boat now. He can spend all of his pips this round. And that would be cool. Um... Yeah. Okay. We just pass. We just pass. If we can get another blade, that would be cool. Um, I think pass would be good. Volcano. Hello. Rain of Fire. I know, but it's Volcano. Why is it called Rain of Fire? I don't know. It's called Volcano. This, this spell is actually called Volcano. Little did you know. I, I have a Max Fire Wizard, so I would know. It is called Volcano. Is the, the name of the spell. Definitely nothing else. That's just not, not true. That is not true at all. What is this? Oh, Hungry Caterpillar. Wow, cute. Imagine imagine putting an Absorb against a Death Wizard who carries all but one Drain. Like, okay. Okay. I just won't Grim Reader you. Like, it's pretty simple, buddy. <laughs> pretty simple. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Didn't do much. They're not actually destroying me as much as um, the last guy did. Or was it the, the, the cow? The cow that's over there. I forgot. I forgot name. Um, I forgot name, but that's fine. Who needs names, you know? They're just... They're not needed anyway, so it's fine. Hopefully, this is our last round of this stupid aura. That would be cool and good. Um, he's changing his to get more pips. Okay. Yep. Good idea, buddy. Good idea. Just keep getting no pip gain. Love to see it. I mean, is that a strategy? Could you just spam that spell? I don't know. I don't know if that's a viable strategy there. That seems a very limiting sort of strategy to me. Very limiting. Um, very limiting. But hey, if it works, you know, if it works, I'm going to have to start carrying a, another, um, an aura, just in case, I think. I think I have to, just like a brace or something. Just for fun. Just for fun. Actually, I could probably carry a Virulian play. Not, what the heck? A what is it called? The death one? I can't even remember. I can't even remember. For real, the plague is a weakness. Oh, look, there's the mantle. Um, I can't even remember. Oh, hello. Old one, life spell. Love to see it. Very cool. Tarzan himself. Um, how much does this do? Not much, eh? It's an AoE. Yeah, it's an AoE. It doesn't do... Oh, it removes his... A 400... 
Uh, hopefully that's not percent. Hopefully that's just damage, right? Like raw damage. A oh, 400 damage. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna be like, what the heck? 400%? No way. No way. We're gonna do this. We need to do this now. Um, luckily he can't do anything to me. He probably does not have imps. Oh, he's gonna do his pips. Oh no, he's not doing pips this time. He's just blading. 40% plus 400 damage. We fizzled, of course, because mantle is fun. We love mantles. Mantles are cool. Everyone loves mantle. We do this. Um, we still haven't got a shadow pip ever for this whole, whole fight. Like, it's insane. It's insane. I don't know if we can't get shadow pips while we've got the whole negative pip gain thing. Um... But if we can, then that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. No shared spells in this fight. That's for sure. Um, that's something that I really should probably work on. Shed rating. Actually, I am changing up my gear significantly after I finish off this. After I max. I am changing up my gear really significantly. Literally, nearly every single piece of gear I have will be changed. Which is insane because I haven't done that in so long. Um, is it for the better? Probably not. But will it be funny? Yes. Will it be funny? Yes. And that's all that we really have to worry about. I am going to Grim Reader him so fast. So fast. I am not afraid of him. He's got three blades. But you know what's different than three blades? A Grim Reader. So it has to happen. It has to happen. Don't you dare shield or absorb. Don't absorb. Thank you. Four blades. I don't think they all stack though. Don't think they all stack. Yeah, no, they don't all stack. They don't all stack. Just three. Um, Grim Reader, bye. Get out of here. Get out of here. Bye. 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 Have fun. Have fun. Have fun in prison for longer, buddy. Yeah. I love this spell so much. This is actually a really cool spell. I love it. I also love how it gives two weaknesses as well. So if it isn't, if it doesn't kill, then they don't do damage. It's great. I love it. I love it. Hey, you're not bad. What's Tracy paying you? Hurry, we must follow the others outside. I accidentally pressed the um, spacebar too quickly. He said, um, what's well, Tracy pay paying you? I'll, I'll double it. Um, but in like a New York No accent. sign of the gangsters or bumbles. I wouldn't do that because that would be um, bad. If only we had a way to track them. It is a shame we don't occupy forms with heightened senses of some kind. I wonder if I can't manifest... Oh, that creature by your side can sniff them out? Very well, let's try that then. Okay, pet. Time for you, Luna. Let's do this. We have to go this way. Haha. -ha. Where is pet taking us? There's a silver chest. Oh my gosh. A silver -la chest. This is actually one of the most, like, interesting parts of quest. I like when they do this. Um... You know, it's not, it's not like any different from just like... Here, London. this eatery. This is where Bumbles must be kept, but it is locked. Perhaps the gangsters attired like Pips Moolis have access. Um, perhaps. Um, and if that is the case, then I will be back in a sec. Hey, where'd my key go? <laughs> right. Hello, Shadow. That was just one fight, so it wasn't too You bad. want this key? You can't have it. Who am I? I am that which prances in the night. I am that which sniffs out fear. I am the Shadow. I am the clandestine protector of these streets. You are the bully picking fights with everyone on them. What I don't know is why. You seek the secrets of the old one, but these poor, desperate wretches don't have them. The Golden Lion might, though. Yes, I could see that. And if you find them, you'll leave us to our business? Very well, I will help you. This key will take us to Bumbles. But we do things my way. Come along. Right. Love those, love those angles on her. That's great. Very cool. Anyway, let's head into the uh, this place, into this this place. Well, well, well. Looky what we got here. Ernest Bovine. That's wait, huh? That's uh, that's my name. Nobody says my name without my permission. Prepare to get trampled. No, no, we are not doing that. Why do you even want to, Ernest? Is it because of that time your bike was stolen? 
I mean, I made it myself out of scrap I found. Never did catch the thief. But I seize his face in the eyes of every intruder. What am I doing? What have I become? I wasted years of my life on this anger. I'm gonna go make a new bike. The Shadow knows the evil in the hearts of men. And how to help them process it and move past it. To find their best self. Wow, no fight there. Love to see it. Actually, thank you, Shadow. We should we should use these techniques. Well, well, Prim Reaper and Pip Smoolis's guys working together. You're all that desperate to get out from under the Golden Lion? Not desperate, no. But in this crazy world of ours, you see an opportunity, you gotta take it. They don't come round often. And that's why you've turned to extortion, theft, and bullying, is it, Humphrey Bulgart? No choice. Yeah. I mean, did I want this? No. Wanted to be an interior decorator, yeah? Got an eye for the feng shui, I do. But ain't no schools here. Sometimes, though, I rearrange my apartment just for the feel. Got a piece of glass I use as a table to glisten with the sun. Most beautiful blamed thing I ever seen. You know who would have loved it? Ma. But... But... Ah, uh, you go ahead. I gotta go collect my thoughts. Wow, how to get through a dungeon. Just just talk to them. Wow, who would have thought? So, you got past my guards, huh? Too bad for you. Now you face death, it's... You're still trying to earn the respect of your father. I mean, he was just so hard to please. Always criticizing my clothes. Simple lesson, wizard. Villains have origins. Origins have causes. Causes can be affected with empathy. Come on, Bumbles. The Shadow would know what you know. Wow, what a what a great dungeon where we didn't have to do anything at all. It's just amazing. You know, we should have done this more often. I love how this is like like caramel, but then not caramel. They should have even kept the nano signs, honestly. It would have been so funny. It would have been hilarious. I would have loved that, actually. <clears throat> Simp simply since it's just, like, ripped straight from caramel, but that's fine. Hi. You look disappointed. What were you expecting? A lot of pyrotechnic daring do? I'm not a pyromancer. I don't do pyrotechnics. Thank you very much. That's very rude. What would that solve? It doesn't fix the desperation that made them what they are. We're not dealing with monsters here, wizard. And yet they chose their path. They elected to be harmful. They weren't mind-controlled into it. People are responsible for the choices they make and the resulting consequences. But you can't dismiss the environment that creates those choices. Just look at this place. Everyone here is scared, cold, hungry. Perhaps you need to see that for yourself. Try helping them, not fighting them. Gather Fusifer to keep them warm, and Wildland Cherries to keep them fed. Then maybe I can trust you to help with the Golden Lion. Wow, she's pulling out the, maybe, maybe if you do this, I will help you. Wow, wow, she's just like every other person in this game, just using me for chores. She could do it herself, you know, but she chooses not to. It's very upsetting. Um, right, we have to go back to the Wildlands is just through here because surprise surprise this is right next to the wild ones who would have thought not me not me anyway we need some cherries cherries Ch cherries where 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 are the cherries here's cherries i found one look at me go i am a forager forager andrew deathblade the forager that's what my badge should be after this 100 percent should be it there's some mistwood yum 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 mistwood um right and uh, here's one over here. And then we need Fusa fur, I think she said. I think that's what she said. Fusa. Yeah, three Fusa fur. Anyway, we've defeated so many Fusa that I don't think you should watch me defeat anymore. It's a little bit sad at this point. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in just a sec. I suppose we must distribute these things to the people of Heap. Strange that this shadow is so eager to aid them, but fight their master. Right, let us head 
to heap again and collect that. It wasn't too bad. It was just like 100% drop rate, which was good. But two fights is a little bit of a pain, but that's fine. We managed to get it. Uh, let's find Renee, um, who is somewhere, somewhere over the rainbow, somewhere around here, over here. She's over this way. I think she's over the other side there. She is. She is. Hello. Hello, Renee. Hi. Boom. I ain't doing nothing. Oh, this is for me? Why? Is it poison? You working for Dr. Poisson, lousy fishman? If you say so. Look, thanks. Boss ain't exactly been taking care of us since she got locked up. This really takes the edge off. I'm glad. Right, next is, uh, Paul, 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 Paul is over here, uh, somewhere, over in the back here, over in the back, over here, hello. Hey, you the one what made the boss run off blubbering? Good, guy's a real hard case. But I got mouse to feed, you know? And each mouse has four stomachs to go with it, so thanks for this get it because cows have four stomachs haha <laughs> funny um right let's go to tom who who tom we're we're tom where be tom he just here he, he over here party hello hello um where wherefore art thou here he is hi hey i think we fought in the jail you ain't here to do it again are you <laughs> once was enough for me uh, but works work let's blankets and fruit huh you're a weird one. Most guys here would just whip a blood bat at me, but all right. <laughs> and so the stranger sees the truth of Heath. Behind the monster's masks are people just trying to survive. Is she narrating? <laughs> That's weird. Boss hates narrators. Calls them vestigial in a visual medium. Me? I ain't so myopic. <laughs> right, hello. At last, the Shadow may have an ally in her campaign. Not of crime fighting, but of crime rehabilitation. <laughs> oh, sorry. I got caught up. Enjoy my work, you see. And it is satisfying helping people realize they can be better than the world tells them to be. It is strange. These are villains, yes? Like Moth Amon. But they have the same goals as villagers in Night Forest. The same fears as Ursai. They are being compelled, yes? Like the water moles. This golden lion exploits their hardship for his own profit. He is to blame. You're learning, wizard. I left Bumbles with my, uh, associate, Tessa Trueheart. Go to her lab and we will find where his boss lurks. Uh-huh, associate. I buy it. I buy it! Um, anyway, let's head to the crime lab. Because that is a great name for this sort of stuff. A crime lab. Wow, who would not want to go to a crime lab? Who wouldn't want to go there? Right. Tessa. Hello. Good, you're here. Huh? The shadow? I'm not the shadow. Why, the idea is laughable. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, so much for secret identities, then. <laughs> you may have noticed he isn't easy to talk to. I asked Tracy once how he did it. He just said, ah, There's no time for explanations or dinner. He expends so much energy and nothing changes. <sighs> I prefer a more internal approach. That's why I made this mind talisman from a crazy eye. It's how the shadow knows so much about people's thoughts and pains and griefs. Most of the time. Some minds are too chaotic to read. Like poor Bumbles here. But I can project someone into his mind to break through that static and find the golden lion. You ready? Yup, we're gonna do this. <laughs> let's do this hello um this is a solo instance um it's kind of crazy 
I wasn't actually originally going to do this today, but we're going to do it anyway. So this is what a mind looks like. A very clouded mind at that. Those swarms are obscuring Bumble's thoughts. They don't seem to like me much, do they? I think I'm giving Bumble's a headache. I haven't done that in a while. Not since we found the harmonic gates. Apologies, wizard. I think I've only made the task of clearing this static more difficult. Yep, it is all your fault. I am going to take a screenshot of this because this is such a cool place. I love it. I really love it. Um, let's defeat some brain swarms. Um, but yeah, I wasn't originally going to be doing this today, but I decided, you know what? You might as well I'll ignore those spears. I had them for the Fusa because I didn't want a prism and I'm lazy, so yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I decided, you know what, might as well because next episode will be the last episode I record. Um, the last episode of Heap, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. And Heap is like a slightly weird length where it's like three episodes, but it's slightly more than three episodes, you know? So I have to like kind of make it a little bit longer for this episode and probably the next one as well. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you don't feel too bad about that. But yeah, the, the last episode of this series will be streamed over on my Twitch channel and then it will be here. Um the full thing like full however long it takes to complete the rest of the world um will be uploaded here on the normal sunday no wednesday so yeah that's pretty cool that's pretty cool. excellent but i can feel the disorder in bumble's mind reasserting itself we don't have long these memories tessa's mind talisman can't see them through the jumble of thoughts but if you photomance them they become newer, clear. Then she will be able to analyze them and tell us what they mean. Okie dokie. First memory. Here we go. Confirm. Easy clap. This must be the man himself. The Golden Lion. It seems he is harnessing mana from the ground. Perhaps from a monitoring station? Hmm. Interesting. Here's the second memory. Boom. I suspect this is the result of our tampering with Lemuria's placement. Mana is now plentiful, and the henchmen are rising up. Uh huh. I really love the art on this. They're so well done. It looks fantastic. Third memory. And here is the Golden Lion re establishing his dominance by defeating Dog Tracy. We must warn Tessa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Well, what did you learn? Learned a lot. Dog Tracy. Of course. He's put away more gangsters than treats. Taking him out will earn the lion the respect of the rebellious gangs. That must mean Bumble set Tracy up earlier. When you spilled on the golden lion, you sent Tracy into a trap, didn't you? Man. Thankfully, you got these mind photos. The last one shows the golden lion outside the chatty cafe. You head there. I'll lock up Bumbles and join you. Right, that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you for watching. We are nearly so close to level 149. Um, next episode will be 149. Also, the last episode of Heap. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Smash like, subscribe, and as always, remember to craft outside the box. Mm -hmm.